Good evening. Welcome to our first annual decorating seminar for the Winterfest Boat Parade and also for Light Up Lauderdale. And we'd like to get a lot of enthusiasm, share some tips from those who've, uh, who've done it in the past. And this year, because there's a new parade route, we're going right downtown, uh, we'd really like to have a cacophony of, of boats and also the shore side, the shoreline uh, lit. And that's why we've, uh, we've asked uh, those who live ashore and also those that are going to participate in the boat parade to, to be here because we have a little something for all of you. With that in mind, we've invited some special guests from a Christmas place, uh, a lovely business here on 13th Street in Fort Lauderdale. And the owner is Ryan, and Ryan's going to give us a little background. Thank you. Um, first off, I'd like to say um, we're all for more decorating anywhere. <laughs> Um, but uh, we're basically here to give some more ideas, what's new, new that type of stuff. Um, obviously, LEDs, everybody's seen them coming out. They're getting more and more popular every year. Um, they're available in all colors. They use a lot less energy. They don't get hot. They last a lot longer. There's a lot of pluses and bonuses to the LEDs. Um, another big thing that's popular this year is going to be uh, motion, music, your lights going with the motion, with the music, all that stuff. Um, Christmas Place, we sell a box here that you can plug any light sets pretty much that you want into. And um, you just, it comes with the music, goes with the motion. All your lights that you plug in will go with the motion. So you can have your existing lights. You can use buy new lights. LEDs obviously recommend. You can plug a lot more into the box. It can handle a lot more LEDs than anything else. But basically, what it does is whatever you plug into it goes to the music. It has six different channels, so you have you know, multiple different ways that you can work with it. You can put multiple items into the same channel. Another thing that we offer is a um, new thing here this year, where it's, a, it's light show trees. We have them in multiple different ways. They come in two of the smaller trees. We have them bigger, sets of three, all different types. Also have the music built into them, and the lights, as you see, dance with the music. These are available also, so you know, they're available green or white. So the white actually reflects the light a lot more, but a lot of people want to go with more of the traditional look, which is the green. They come, yeah, anything up from three foot all the way up to seven foot in a couple of different sizes in between. Um, another thing I guess I kind of want to get into is um, there's a lot of people out there that still want to use your basic old incandescent C9s, get a lot of light, it gives you the old retro type look. New thing this year is energy saver. You can still use the big bulbs, but they won't cost you quite as much because energy on the C9s is a, a big factor. You can add a lot more of these together also. Um, another thing we have is heavy duty for all the mini light fans. Mini lights have been around for a long time. Obviously, we encourage LEDs, but mini lights still a good thing. So um, we have all heavy, de heavy duty light sets, icicles, nets, regular light strings. You can plug up to six end to end before you have to go to a new power source on these. So if you're with the mini lights, that's good for that. Um, one other thing we're pushing that's getting bigger and bigger this year or these years is uh, plastic. All different types of plastic. It doesn't break, so you can have it on the boat. It can bang into the side. It can be on the condo. No matter what, they can take some good amount of abuse. We have these in all different colors, many sizes of just regular balls, glittered or shiny, matte. We have a garland. They're all nice UV resistant should be good for outdoor use. Um, clusters of grapes, many different styles, obviously. We, we couldn't bring them all. There's too many to bring, so come in and uh, take a look. Another big thing that's been very popular this year, we have a snow machine that is uh, affordable, and it works on a remote, so you could have it set up on your boat, on the condo, wherever you'd like it, and it comes with a little wireless remote, and if you turn it on, I'll shoot it this way so you guys don't get all snowed out, but... So that's just another idea for, you know, I've been, I've been watching the boat parade for many of years and I've never seen any boats snowing, so I thought that might be a, another neat idea, something different to make you stick out from the rest of the boats. We also offer, if you wanted to go for the motion but you don't want the whole light box, there's just a little, it's a kind of a mini version here that you can just, it just has three channels, only a couple options. It doesn't actually go to the music, you'd have to set up your own music, but just another option for those guys. We also, if you are looking for, this is a um, 
car and bolt light, it's actually got the cigarette lighter built right into it. LEDs, they don't really take much power. We have many, and you can end connect them for as on as long as you want to go. So if you have just a cigarette lighter, maybe a little boat, something like that, you don't have the generator, we have that option as well. And another new thing is uh, morphing LED light sets, where they morph, we have many different styles. There's clear to blue, there's red to green, there's blue to green, blue to red, all, any color combination you could really think of, they're all available. Regular light sets, icicle light sets. We try to cover all the bases, especially with LEDs as they're the new upcoming thing. Rope, also another great, it's been around for a long time in the regular old. This is the new um, LED rope light. You know, it's, it's, um, we use a, it's kind of a creased outside edge. It's got some bends on it, so you can really, you can bend it right in half without any problems whatsoever. Your lights won't go out. You can write whatever you need to do. Come in nine foot lengths. 30 foot lengths, 100 foot lengths, any kind of length you could really need and the nice thing is they all, they end connect. You can go on and on and on and on with those. So you don't have to worry about getting to a new power source. You can just keep on going as much as you need to write, kind of like this. I thank you guys all very much and uh, if you have any more questions, come on in and uh, visit us. Nice hand for Ryan from thank you. A Christmas Place. We're going to talk specifically about decorating your boats, and we've got a true expert. He was introduced uh, a, little bit, uh, a little bit earlier, and he is an award winner and world famous as far as the Winterfest Boat Parade goes. Uh, last year, we had the opportunity to work with him to do the, the Broadway barge that, uh, that uh, led the Winterfest Boat Parade, and give a nice hand for Rob from Advanced Roofing. Rob? So you start out with the theme, and we, the Boat Parade theme you adapt to that, and this year and last year were great theme, you know, so a lot you can do with it. And it's a lot of fun, and I encourage everybody to have fun with it. But uh, music is also very important. We, uh, we've won music several times, and it's not expensive. We, my son bought a, a system, and we use that over and over, but you can get sound systems for your boat that aren't that expensive, a few hundred bucks, up to a thousand, you can get DJs, but the music, and the sound is really important because that's what people get excited. I'm telling you, you're going to get so pumped up if you got good sound and you got a lot of action going on and the people that you've got moving around are lit up and people can see Because that gets the shoreline and the people in the boats really excited. And you want to have a couple spotlights because you want to acknowledge when they get excited, you get excited and you give them back, you know, glow sticks, they always work great. Couple tricks, this is, my guy just came down here, you know, took him 20 minutes, just, you know, we went to the Home Depot and put some PVC pipe on there and he didn't, you know, it's a little loose here. But this is a chicken wire on PVC pipe. And what we do if we want to say, you know, advanced roofing, we take um, rope lighting and we start here, we take wire ties and we make an A and come down here. And anywhere we didn't want the lights to be shown, we just take black electrical tape and cover it up. So this is a nice, it's good because it's light, it's flexible, and the wind. You always got to think, we don't know what the weather is going to be that night. And you're going to start decorating four weeks, three weeks, two weeks, whatever your appetite is for pressure. And uh, <laughs> you're going to find out these things that you put, I've done it with plywood and you know, if you've got a good sturdy place to put plywood, fine. You do the same thing, you just um, cut three quarter inch holes and you, you do the A's and then whenever you don't want it, you run it in the back and then come back out and you kind of sew in the letters, it's really easy and it's very effective. But the weather is a factor. So this we found to be very good, re reusable every year. You know, we always do a happy holidays and we've had it for years. So once you make one, they don't cost a lot and it's good. You know, electricity, you got to be prepared for the worst. Um, I asked Doug for a couple extension cords. So we always tie them in a knot and then put them together. And then we'll take a Ziploc bag, put them in the tie wrap, uh, put them in a, a Ziploc and then take a tie wrap and just close it off. You don't have to worry about it. Do it while you're doing it. Don't wait until the forecast is there, it takes a few minutes, and it's a great trick. We learned that a long time ago. Um, little things like, uh, these, are, these are good little clips to have for your rope lighting. Rope lighting really works very effective. They got a lot of uh, chasers, and these gentlemen can tell you about chasers and all that. I mean, it really makes the boat 
look good. You want to decorate the whole boat, both sides. That's really important. Lighting's real important for your people. I learned this trick from Moon Cusser. Everybody knows of Moon Cusser. He's been doing it for 30 plus years. And that's the wooden soldier sailboat. And then shoot a cannon and they all fall down. Well, you can see those guys perfectly. And my first several years, I couldn't figure out how they did it. But all they do is a fluorescent bulb, four foot, and they put it shining on the people. If you can put it over the people, that's great as well. We use, uh, because I'm a roofer and I have an access to a sheet metal shop, but I'm willing to help anybody that needs any of this little stuff I talk about, because it's not a big deal to me to bend up a few pieces of sheet metal. Got it right. We, we, we put this on there and it makes it glow a little bit more. So lighting of people is, is really important. If you want to, on the bus barge, we actually had it where you take a piece of wood, we screw it on here and we just use PV pipe and we can hang it over. So that's another way you can do some good lighting if you have a boat that you want to get people along the gunnel or out on the bow, you can, you can put this on there and extend it out with PVC pipe. Just protect your boat, we don't want to scratch it. Be creative and uh, use your mind. Have some fun, get some teams together, and we're available anytime I'm available to help anybody with uh, ideas. If you need, you have a concept and you can't figure out how you're going to make it. I've taken chicken wire. When we did the uh, firefighters, I don't know if anybody saw it, after 911, we did the replica of the guys ra raising the flag. The way I did it, I got a motor from a gas station sign, we built the platform, I put boxes on the platform sprayed it with spray foam, polyurethane foam, which I have a rig if anybody needs that done. And then we put the, the flag in the middle, borrowed three costumes from Pompano Fire Department, made stick men at a rebar, wrapped them in chicken wire and put the costumes on it. Wasn't that hard and we got it done. Talk a little bit about safety because uh, the Coast Guard is, you mentioned it just a little bit, but the Coast Guard actually takes this very seriously and it's uh, all in good fun and there's a lot of parties on the boats and it's always fun to be participating on the boat, but uh, boater safety and, and uh, safety on board is, is of utmost importance because uh, we want to have a safe and, and fun but safe uh, boat parade, Rob? Yeah, did, you know, a lot of people uh, need extra power for the uh, lights and stuff they put on board and they do generators you got to make sure your generators are away from everybody, they're secure, you, uh, you fill them up before you start the parade. If you have to shut them down and start them, you got somebody with a fire extinguisher and you really got to be careful with the generators. We've had, I think, one or two over the years that had a, a generator fire. Don't block them from air. It kind of happened to us a little bit last year. As good as I am, we put a big uh, 100 kW on a barge and it ended up getting blocked in a little bit and we had some power problems during the parade. So you got to make sure you're getting air to the, the generator. You know, life jackets for everybody. Uh, they'll board you. They've, um, they've, did, they've done it before. you, you got to have a life jacket for everybody. It's good, good practice. Uh, you know, captain, I, I always do a hired captain at night. I mean, I like to enjoy myself, you know, drink my diet grape soda and uh, have a good time. We here at Six Star have also uh, put together a, a couple of things that ideas for boaters that you can get a real big wow. Now, keeping in mind that, that this year, because it's on the intercoastal, uh, the, the audience is going to be right on top of the boats. And so the, the sound doesn't need to be quite as large as it used to be way out in the middle of the intercoastal. You can still get a big sound with a smaller system and really get, uh, and really, really get a, a big wow as you go down the, as you go down the, uh, as you go down the, the, the intercoastal towards New River. For those who want to take arts and crafts to another level, and this is basically a beautiful giant butterfly that she's created. And if you take a look, we did this over the weekend, and it's actually quite simply just, it's just a bit of, a bit of wire, thick wire. And Janet, maybe you can tell a little bit about what you did to create this. This is simply quarter inch rod. Uh, we had some threaded rod here, which actually worked out pretty nicely when I connected it together with the wire. Uh, and then we just, I just bent it with my, over my knee <laughs> for the most part, and a vise at times, and then just attached the chicken wire. It was really pretty straightforward.
And then I think Rob mentioned that there are many different ways to, to make a sign. This is certainly one of the best and easiest and most effective. Uh, there are some other examples, such as uh, just taking a piece of Luon, a very light piece of, uh, of board. Again, you have to have a good place to, uh, to store it. And quite simply, on the front, you just, you just paint the letters where you'd like them. And you could even glitter them, just to give them a little bit more of an effect. And you might notice that we have a few, uh, that we have a few uh, bulbs. Uh, to show you the back, quite simply, we're just going to flip it over this way. It's just quite simply drilled holes, and then you take some of the, either the LEDs or some of the lights, and just use a, a hot glue gun and just put them into place. And with that in mind, it does become very effective. Very nice. And from far away, this really does become, you know, quite effective and, uh, and gives a really good look. So we have that. And then for those that have the bigger boats and really want to show uh, a little bit more, uh, we'll do the, actually, the flamingos. These are quite simply just a bit of rod, wire, and then just attach the rope lights. Very much like making the sign. You could also do this on, a, on a, a, like the chicken wire and the PVC pipe. We just happen to take this. This is also great for home decorating. Uh, you can put this up in your, in your uh, it's just wire that goes into the ground. Use the rope lighting, quite simply plug it in, and it becomes kind of an effective, just a little simple outline of a flamingo. With just a little bit of rod, uh, zip ties, rope light, you can have something that's custom made. You can, you can actually just outline whatever you'd like. The, 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 the rod is very easy to bend. Sometimes you can just get one of those little pipe benders, and it, it, if you don't want to use your knee like, like Janet did. And on the side of a boat, this really does uh, allow you to get really big with some of your props. And so uh, just a, a few more ideas um, for, for, uh, for, the, for the boats and then also for the home as well. And so with that in mind, we're going to ask, uh, we, we, we mentioned with, uh, with Ryan a little bit about the lights, the LED lights. And we have uh, an, a gentleman who's joined us named Skip. And uh, he's an expert in the LED lights. And Skip's brought a few, uh, a few of the LED lights. He's going to expand a little bit more with this particular brand of LED light. Um, what's unique about this is it's a single piece construction, which means that there's no moisture that can get into these lights, which is very important, I would imagine, uh, in a boat application. So that's one of the things you want to think about if you're looking at LEDs as an investment, because these are not throwaway lights. They're, they cost more than the incandescents, but they will last you for 10 to 20 years. And the other thing that I hear mentioned here is the, uh, the need for additional power and generators. Um, we've been able to string, well first of all with the commercial line of these lights you can string 3200 lights off of one outlet and we've, we've strung 32,000 lights on the Capitol Christmas tree drawing only 20 amps. So although I'm not an electrician I wonder whether um, if you went all LED on the boat whether you would need uh, the generator for extra power. I don't know but it's something to uh, consider. But the main reason to invest, this is an investment in light. These are lights that you'll be able to use year after year. And um, that's pretty much the, the basic advantage, the long life. They're indestructible, practically. They, don't, they won't break like regular bulbs. So if you drop them, they won't, they won't, uh, they won't shatter. So there's a lot of advantages, as my, as my colleagues pointed out. This is the future of light right here. You'll see all incandescents probably within the next 10 years uh, be replaced by LED lights very pro-environmental as well. So. Tell us a little bit about the, the different look. It, it does look different than the incandescents, and why is that? Well, I think um, they, because they're, they're not filtered light, the, 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 these are actually computer chips, and each chip is designed for a specific light. So you, the light is a lot crisper, a lot sharper. In fact, LEDs have come a long way just in the last couple of years because there was a time when they really didn't match up in terms of the luminance and brightness, but now obviously they are. This is a very popular version. Um, it's called Color Wave, and these lights change into three different colors. So I can imagine a boat decked out with these uh, changing lights would be uh, quite attention getting. So something to think about. If you lose a bulb, they can be replaced, but it's not simply a matter of sticking a bulb in. But the, you will not lose the rest of the string. 
Very good. Okay. I thought it might be nice to bring all of our experts back up and do a little question and answer on, the, uh, on home decorating, on boat decorating tips, and perhaps on uh, boat parade themes. I think all of us were really amazed by your beautiful, um, like the flamingo, and then also the beautiful butterfly and everything. You just say, oh, well, you just do it with wire and put some things on, you know, and I'm thinking, what wire? Where do I get this wire? You know, what do you, where is this wire? Where do you use this? Well, a lot of this is available down at Home Depot and, and hardware stores, Lowe's and places like that. You want to have, uh, as far as the, the basic infrastructure, you want to make sure that you have something that's going to be bendable without a lot of exertion of, of energy, but, right. uh, but also something that you can manage it so it's not really heavy. We have another one here that's made of rebar, which is very, very thick and very durable, but very hard to handle. And so this is probably quarter inch, uh, just quarter inch rod. And then the bending, you'll find that it is pretty easy to just bend into a particular shape. They also have pipe benders that you can use and just, just tweak it to uh, you know, the shape of a, of a flamingo. Quite simply, all we did was put, was put uh, rope lighting around the outside. Season's greetings on both sides of the boat. Would, does it make more sense to use the LED lights than the rope lights to do that? <coughs> I'm, I'm concerned that it won't shine as much, although I know the LED lights are brighter. I think that um, you know, they've been using the, the old style of rope lights for a lot of years, right. and it always looked really good. Yeah, I think you'll get the same shine pretty much out of both of them. They'll this show up. LED, right? This is actually a perfect yeah. comparison. Here you got an old yeah, clear. This is the LED clear. So, you know, it's a little bit brighter. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference, but like I said, this line will last you 10 years, 20 years. This line will last you a few years. Well, I was actually thinking of the smaller bulbs so that I could change them, but you actually can't pull them out and change the color, so you're stuck with whatever color You're stuck you've got with what you buy, unfortunately. Right. Yeah, yeah. Unchangeable. Okay. okay. I've found that the rope lighting on chicken wire is the easiest to, to read because it just, there's nothing behind it. You know, if you have, if you want to do both sides, and you're going to see the sign through the boat, then you're going to need something as a backdrop so you don't see the boat, you know, if you're putting them. But if you have, you're putting them on the side of a, a sport fish and it's up in the, you know, up a, either in the salon side, you won't see it going through. But if you're going to put it back in the cockpit, you'll be able to see and you need to put a backdrop. So you've got to think about that. For doing your signage, uh, whatever your background, uh, use a matte finish. Don't use a gloss finish. So you don't want anything that's going to reflect the light. So whatever you make, um, like Rob's uh, frame with the chicken wire, if you want that frame to disappear, paint it flat black. Good point. Because flat black Thanks. disappears at night. You don't see it. You're only going to see what you want to see. So don't ever use a glossy paint because that's just going to reflect it and it'll distort what you've lit. We'll often use fabric. We'll just take fabric along the back and just use a staple gun and staple it back so there's a little bit of flow. You have to be, since you're on the water and there is a breeze, you have to take that into consideration. A lot of times what, uh, what we do with signs for, uh, for events and shows and, and also have done for, for some of the boat parade is taking foam core, the, 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 the real thin foam core, and actually mapping out your letters in front and then quite simply just taking a drill. As a matter of fact, our, one of our artists, Martin, Mar Martin, who's sitting right here, did this for a sign on a piece of Luon and just took a piece of Luon board, it's very, very thin wood, and just mapped out what he was looking to, uh, to say in the sign and then just took a power drill and just power drilled and then used either the LEDs or some of these small lights, very similar to what was done with the, uh, with the, with the bigger Christmas lights and just puts, poke those through and actually uh, it's very sturdy and uh, you can do that with, with the foam core, you can do it with Luon and it uh, makes for a nice sign. They're very simple to do, they're easy materials to work with and, uh, and they're effective. Plus you come up with your, with your backdrop just right there. Uh, the, the difference between the foam core and the Luon is the foam core is susceptible to, you know, to, to the elements. So if it's raining and it won't fall apart, but it won't last quite as long as, say, wood, wood or chicken wire and PVC. Another thing to keep uh, mind of is that, you know, boats are very touchy and that you do want to make sure, especially when using chicken wire, to perhaps use, uh, you know, just this is like flooring materials you put under a piece of, uh, put under your hardwood floors and just kind of, oftentimes we'll just wrap these around just the edges and just zip tie them into place. That way when you put them up you're, you're assured that the, the little ends of the chicken wire won't go through and scratch your boat and make the captain or the owner unhappy. The water line from your, your, your gunnel down, you, you can do stuff with that. I mean it, we, we did um, 
that tinsel stuff, you buy it in four foot and we hung that around. I mean, if you do something right off the water, I mean, it looks really, really hot and light that up. So think about that too. So don't forget about that water line up because a lot of people see that from the shoreline. I know for the condominiums, we had a meeting a while back with Light Up Riverwalk or Light Up uh, Lauderdale, excuse me. And uh, we're talking about the different ways of securing lights to, the, to, your, to your window, to your, you know, using zip ties. Use, are there some special things that... Uh, we sell, which I didn't bring with me, but for a lot of, a lot of condos, if, especially if you're not on the first floor, you'll have a banister out on your, on your patio or whatever. We sell banister clips that'll go right over there and hold your lights. We have suction cups. We have zip ties. So we have a good variety of clips for sure. Be able to figure something out for you. We have icicle lights that look good hanging off a banister, the season's greeting signs, the Merry Christmas signs. I know some condo associations have limitations of what you can put up and what you can't, but we should be able to work within the limitations, whatever they are. On the top of our building, it's really rough stucco, and we want to put the C9 lights to just go all the way around the top of the building. What do you suggest to hold them up there? What I would suggest, and he got the roofing guy right here, he probably knows better than I do, but um, my, what I would think of is we sell, um, it's called little parapet clips, which it's actually just a plastic piece, and you'd have to come up with some kind of silicone or glue, and you glue it on That's there, and then... I'm, I know what the clip is, yep. but how do we put the clip on? With some sil I would guess with some silicone glue. I mean, also, uh, uh, my store itself doesn't actually go out and do any kind of out exterior decorating or anything, so no, I'm not we're, we're, we have to do but, our own. Right, Most right. condos don't have yep. any money to do that this yeah, year. Yeah, right. But so, I mean, I, I don't actually have any experience in that whatsoever I have the only thing I have is I've, I decorated the whole store itself and I just used I went and got actually at Home Depot they sell um, gorilla glue clear gorilla glue and I just That'll used that it. to glue it all on there oh good uh, just a suggestion for your condominium remember if you decorate the outside of the condominium remember to turn your lights out inside the condominium because that's going to backlight and it's going to wash out the lights, the colored Good lights point. that you put yeah, out the front. Do the same thing as far as your boat as well. Turn the cabin lights out because you only want to have seen what you want seen. And the other suggestion, Rob touched on it earlier, is uh, we had a situation last year where just as the parade was about to begin, the, uh, the generator ran out of gas. So it was a mad panic. So there will be a certain amount of time in the milling area that you're going to have the lights on, the music going, and remember the generator's going at that time. So when the parade starts, make sure the generator's topped up. As you, as you get into the entertainment creative portion, uh, we have a creative <laughs> team here at Six Star, and we're more than happy to, to help you with the creative side. And then for those who are just stuck, uh, um, you know, we're a show business company, so we, 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 we have the opportunity to maybe just help you percolate some of those, some of those fat, juicy ideas. And, and we're all about, uh, about taking it to the next level this year with the entertainment portion because we've selected movies and you know, the music from the movies and, and uh, movie theme. You know, there's such great music that's available, identifiable costumes. And so when you think about it, you know, to have the, the Wizard of Oz with, with all the great music coming down the intercoastal and then having the, you know, the Scarecrow and the Cowardly Lion uh, up on the bow of the ship, I mean, it's instantly recognizable. And uh, we'd like to see things uh, maybe Things that we wouldn't, wouldn't really have thought of, like, you know, the, the vote of the greatest movie of all time uh, by many of the polls is The Godfather. Wouldn't it be great to have a Godfather-themed uh, uh, boat going down the intercoastal? And certainly the Pirates of the Caribbean is very popular these days. Uh, there's everything from Beauty and the Beast. There's the, you know, old-time Busby Berkeley movie musicals uh, with, in association with advanced... Uh, advanced roofing and uh, advanced green technology. We're going to do the Wild West Rootin' Tootin' Boat where we have uh, uh, a saloon from, uh, from the Wild West with can-can uh, -can dancers and then a, a, a real live um, uh, fight show, stunt show on the bow of the ship. So we're really looking at, at, at uh, some clever ways to throw music, entertainment, all roping around that great theme of, of uh, magical movie moments. Well, I, I just had a couple of closing comments. One, thank you all for coming very much. And I want to thank Doug at Six Star Entertainment. They do a phenomenal job. And if you didn't get a chance to see it, the, the Broadway barge that they did last year was phenomenal. And, uh, and Rob, you always do a great job. Thanks so much for your time and your expertise. And um, a couple things that I wanted to touch on is one, Winterfest is a plethora of resources for you. So if you just call the office, go on the Winterfest Parade website, they have 
backlogs of years of the parade on the website. Go on there, steal people's ideas, everything's recycled, so we're all about a green parade and that's all about recycling other people's ideas as well, so don't go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my boy. <laughs> um, but in addition to that, thank you all for coming out and, yeah. uh, and we're looking forward to having a great parade. So thank you all, as well as you guys. Thank you.